So let's read this passage, Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse um, uh, 2, on, 1 onwards. Let's read this passage. We read, After this, Lord appointed seventy others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. So Jesus did many things. And the, every action of Jesus has got some meaning. So before he is supposed to go, he already sent people to prepare the place. Before, before Jesus go and preach the word of God, he has already prepared. He is sending his disciples to preach and prepare the place. My dear brothers and sisters, if someone comes to you to speak to you about Jesus, especially the, especially the through the church, especially the church or especially the priest or the, the preachers, when they come to you and speak to you, remember, it is a clear sign soon the Lord is coming into your life. When you listen to a word of God, when you listen to the preachings, when you attend a retreat, remember the next step is Jesus entry into your life. Praise the Lord. Praise when the Lord. disciples went to every town and preached the gospel, they didn't know. The people, those who are there, they never knew. The next is Jesus himself is coming. It is a preparation. So anytime when you listen to a preaching, remember it is a preparation for Jesus to come inside of your life. Let's read verse 2. We read like this. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. God knows, God knows harvest is plenty. God knows a lot of laborers are needed. But God says, if you really need laborers, you have to pray to the Heavenly Father. You have to pray. You know, nowadays there is lack of priest, lack of priesthood, lack of priest available for the preaching and celebrating Holy Mass. The laborers are few. It is the duty of every member, every Christian to intercede, ask the person, Ask the Heavenly Father to appoint and send priest. We need priest. There should be vocations in this world. And it is our duty to pray for more and more vocations. Jesus himself told us to pray for it. And verse 3, we read like this. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Remember, the Lord is reminding us. He is sending us. Sending everyone, all the preachers, all the ministers of the Lord, wherever you go, remember, you will be tortured, you will be attacked, you will be insulted, you will be humiliated. Remember, if anyone who is doing the ministry of the Lord, if you, whether it is preaching publicly, whether you are doing behind the curtain, whether you are cleaning, whether you are doing something, any work that is connected to Jesus, if you are doing it for the Lord, you will be attacked. You will be insulted. You will be bullied. You will be uh, hurt. If you are bullied and hurt and wounded in a ministry, that is a clear sign you are doing a ministry. But if you are doing ministry without any problem, then you have to think twice. You are not doing your ministry. If you are enjoying your ministry, in the sense there is no problem, no confusion, no tension, no struggle, nobody attacks you, no one hurts you, you are, everything is happy for you, you are enjoying it, that means you are doing something else, not the ministry. You may be doing a ministry for yourself. You are ministering yourself, not the Lord. If you are doing it for God, remember you are sent to the midst of the wolves, so they will crush you into pieces, they will hurt you, they will wound you, they will bully you. Do not become like them. Sometimes it happens when you are crushed, you will crush others. When you are insulted, you insult others. When you are spoken ill of uh, you, uh, you, are sp you will do the same thing. That is when you fail in your ministry. Praise the Lord. Praise and let's read verse 4. We read like this. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, no and greet no one on the road. Carry no purse, no money needed. No bag, don't worry about future. No sandals, no other protection is needed. So these three, no money is needed. No, one, no worry about financial things. No worry about the future. No worry about the present moments of protection. If you are doing the ministry, these three things should be forgotten. You, should, you don't need to worry about all these things. 
and greet no one on the road means your focus should be on Jesus your focus about your focus is on Jesus not other business many people in the name of Jesus in the name of ministry they come for ministry they are busy talking 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 chatting chatting with everyone and gossiping gossiping and destroy the ministry they have come not to support and do the ministry but they have come to destroy the ministry they work they become wolves in the ministry they become evil in the ministry of the lord when you do the evangelization these things you have to be very careful you are not supposed to greet any one beings unnecessary conversation unnecessary unnecessary communication is not needed because you have a higher purpose higher goal when you have a higher goal why are you running after small small goals when you are planning for olympics you will not you will have to do lot of sacrifices lot of sacrifice fastings lot of rigid exercises you have to do that many unnecessary things you have to avoid so the same way when you are in the battlefield anyone who is doing ministry you are in the battlefield if you are in a battlefield you cannot just waste time talking to someone with someone else greeting with someone else you are in a mission you are sent by god you are going for battle focus on the battle nothing else if anybody focus on other things they will have consequence they are the ones who are destroying that particular ministry where they are trying to help instead of helping they are in fact destroying it was why we read like this we read like this whatever house you enter first say peace to this house whatever house you enter when you enter into a house you know evangelization those days house to house door to door not like a big conventions but house to house in the evangelization when you enter into a house the first thing that you need to say is peace to this house you know we are blessing that house and then next one is very important verse 6 and if anyone is there who shares in peace your peace will rest on that person but if not it will return to you this is a very important point You know the lord is asking that the apostles when you bless somebody if that person is eligible to get blessing it will bless it will go to him if that person is not eligible to get blessing it will come back to you the same way remember suppose a priest come to you suppose a priest well blesses you if you are not a person of peace if you have anger irritation disturbance against the priest or against someone else or against the ministry or against somebody else in the ministry remember you will never get this blessing instead the blessing which is sent to you will go back to the priest it will never come to you because we should be in a receiving mode we should be holy we should have peace with everyone if we are not at peace with ourselves and with others even if all the priests in the world come and bless you it will not enter inside of you it will return return back to the priest so the lord says if anyone if anyone is there who shares in, the, in peace your peace will rest on that person otherwise it will come back that is why many people even though they get the blessings of the priest many times even though they bring all the priest into their houses or into their lives and bless them pray for them and in spite of all these they are not getting any blessing praise the lord Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Because they are not at peace in their heart. They are with full of hatred, gossip, politics, as um, um you know blaming others, in, accusing others. Such situations are dangerous for everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And verse 7 we read like this. Remain in the same house eating and drinking whatever they provide for the laborer deserve to be paid. do not move about from house to house do not run from one place to another do not be so uh, you know your uh, scattered in your attention focus only on god and whatever that is kept in front of you take it eat it and eating and drinking whatever they provide praise the lord praise and the next lord. one was eight we read like this was eight whenever you enter a town its people welcome you eat what is set before you eat what is set before you give and god what god has given you accept it what is set before you be satisfied with that be happy about it no grumbling no complain some people when they do ministry when they enter into the ministry 
after within one month they started grumbling and complaining oh this is the only duty i am given i'm not respected i'm not honored i'm not given more importance i'm rejected i'm abandoned they are not happy where god has placed them god says eat what is set before you do what you are supposed to do do not confu- get confused do not be worried if you are uh, if you are ambitious it is not meant for you to be in the ministry ministry of the lord is not meant for you if you are ambitious so eat what is set before you be happy where you are placed be happy with what you have so this is what the lord is telling us praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's close our eyes these are the things that you need to remember when you serve the lord when you do ministry and when you uh, proclaim the good news and when you enter into the word of god evangelization these are the things that you need to remember